I just think he'd do it. I think anyone that actually hates Atari, I think they should be punished and they should be forced to give Atari money every month. You know what I mean? Oh, sorry. Hello. Hello, it's me, Alex. Everyone, oh, baby, oh, you're doing all okay. Sorry, just don't, just ignore that. I was just thinking about stuff. Um, so I hope, I hope everyone's doing good, by the way, and oh, the week is going good too. So I'm doing a little bit better. Um, so I have. Um, before I start, I know that the Xbox fanboy did make a short video earlier. I do know about it. He did email me, so he did after uploading it. Um, and I said, that's fine, that's fine, you know what I mean? Like, because me and him, we're good friends, so we are. Because out of all of us at the DT group, we are actually good friends. We are technically the underdog, so we are. And, uh, yeah, it's just how it is. Like, you know, he gets made fun of, he gets bullied by Billy, PlayStation fanboy, which I think is absolutely, you know, absolutely disgusting that, you know, Billy hates Xbox, you know what I mean? Which I think is absolutely disgraceful. It really, really is. But... You know, it's just how that is, you know what I mean? But I remember, um, and he was telling me this, that his parents back in the day and his grandparents actually made fun of Atari back in the day. So, they, you know, when the Jaguar was out. Um, and he was telling me he actually used to send threatening letters to Atari fanboys um, for the for the mailbox. And we actually, that actually happened to us um, one time. It might have been him that sent us awful a letter saying Atari sucks. They need to get out of the console market, and we and we just threw those letters away. We were saying, "Screw you, lot. Atari's going to dominate, and the Jaguar Two is going to come out." You know what I mean? And even though that didn't happen, twenty three years later, we're getting a new console. So we are. So yeah, I can't wait to send you lot letters. Well, emails now saying that PlayStation sucks and Atari's going to dominate. So that's little facts for you, uh, lot who were born in the two thousands. So yeah. Um, well, one thing I heard from him is that Microsoft recently, recently discontinued their new Xbox that came out last year, which is a bit un unfortunate, that digital one. And I'm still waiting for that because Ashley said she was going to buy me one for my birthday and she still didn't. You know what the heck, Ashley? Supposed to be, you, you know, we're supposed to be brother and sister, which we are. We look out for each other even though half the time I don't give a damn about you. But it's, you know, I'm still waiting for that. It's not fair. And I said to her, I want, I want my Xbox. I want it. So what she does is they've got an Xbox one they're not using. So they say, oh, there you go, Alex. You can use that. Okay. Well, I, I want to give Microsoft my money, my hard-earned money. So I kept it. And it's good now because I can play my old... My great Atari classics, so I can. You know, those collections that came out. I bought them a while ago, and I got the second one as well. So I, I bought these a while ago to just support Atari. So I'm glad to play some old classics. I can play them on something better in my bedroom. So that's good. That's a really, really good thing. And um, I think what else? What else are I going to say? <coughs> oh! About the Xbox One. Because I want to supply it because we all know it's the underdog and, you know, it's underrated and it's, you know, not popular. And, like, you, you know me, I always, like, love supporting the unpopular systems. Um, So I do. Well, I didn't buy a Wii U because I hate Nintendo. But, you know what I mean? It's just how it is. Well, actually, technically, we did own an NES over it because in the UK, the NES failed. And we bought one just to support it. So, yeah. I know you lot say, well, but in America, well... I don't care. Well, I know in America it was popular, but we supported it because it failed over here. So yeah, <laughs> just 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 how it goes, really. Just how it goes. So yeah, I might buy. An, I might I might get another one so I can have two Xbox ones. I might just get a couple of more uh, so I can just support Microsoft. So that's good. Yeah. So that's life in the Francis household. Or whatever. Actually, I don't know what the heck Daniel's last name is. He still hasn't told us. He still hasn't told us. He's supposed to be a secret. I still think he's an actor. I still think he's getting paid by people. I still think that. <laughs> I really do. Like, how come every time when I see him, he's always on his, he's, he's always, he's always on his mobile phone? I know you lot might say, well, that's a young thing. No, it's not. Because Ashley doesn't do that. So he must be paid. I think... I think um, Daniel is a paid actor. I still think that. 
I know you people, I don't care what you lot think. So yeah, <laughs> things are going good. Atari's going to dominate next gen. I'm playing Xbox One for the first time, which is awesome. Like I said, I think this console's absolutely amazing. You know what I mean? I've played it for about a couple of hours, playing these all Atari classics, and I love it. So that's good. So yeah, this is from me, Alex Francis. Hope you're all doing good. Oh, and I meant to tell you all, me and Dominic are good friends now. I fully apologise for all of the stupidity that I've done. And I want to say here now, Dominic Trofer, I'm sorry for what I said to you, so hope you forgive me. Because I want to be proper friends with you, because I like you. You're a bit crazy like me. Well, you're more crazy like me. But do you know what? I want to be good friends with you again. You know what I mean? We can video chat if you want. We can, you know, text on the internet. And we can do all that. So I hope you forgive me. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Bye.